one of the things that bothered me about 2D FM is when you lose, you get they defaultly give you one lose animation. So in my case, it's this. The character will freeze for a moment and then fall down. So there you go. Done. I can't make it any more simpler than that. So there are certain grabs I have where they will end up on the ground, like Bonga. He grab when he grabs you. If I can find this grab. Here it is. When he grabs you, he will lift you up by your feet. This isn't the right one. He will pick you up by your feet, lift you up in his hands where that mark is, and then throw you on the ground. You will be in a laying down position, but if I don't use a variable to redirect the death animation, they will automatically stand up. So let's do that real quick. So we're going to put this to none, none, none. Save. So what's going to happen is Bwanga will pick up the character, throw them, and they will be in a laying down position in the throw animation. Oops. Press OK. All right. So, Bonga will pick him up and then throw him. So, this throw, they end up laying down. So, defeating him with a strike attack like that, or like this, where they would be standing up, I mean, I kind of don't care. It, like, I don't need this whole animation to play out. I don't need this whole animation to play out. Wait, why is that doing no damage? weird so if they get hit and then they stand and fall down it still looks fine but the grab that looks stupid so what we do is we take a variable on the loss animation and put it right here in the front so the second they lose this will happen now, as a contingency plan, I put replace zero to make sure it stays at zero. That way, uh, when a new round starts, it does, character variables are supposed to reset to zero, but this is a just in case. So after that, I have three. We have a down loss, an upside down, and one for a certain character. This is a standing loss that well, it just I made it just for glitches. So. For the other ones, we're going to put it's the same, it's the same, it's the same. File, save as, or save. Test play. All right. And now that I've demonstrated everything, I'm just going to hopefully just kill Bwanga. Okay, so now when Bwanga gets grabbed, he will be in a laying down position when he dies. 
That looks a lot better than just him randomly standing up and then laying down. Because he was in a laying down, he's supposed to be in a laying down position when he loses anyway. Do you even have what so, in order to do that, there's two parts. First was the loss one, like I said. The second one is in the grab. So if the grab is initiated, here's the end of the animation if it whiffs. If it initiated, we have this. This is the activation. Here's the variable right here. System variable. So if that system variable is a certain number, it will go to a certain down animation. So in Bonga's case, his is system variable one, because they are laying down. So why don't we make one? So we're gonna go to open game, desktop, yeah, to the FM, new game, new game. All right, and crash, awesome. Yes, I get it. 2DFM. Try that again. Desktop. There we go. All right. So we got Soshin Day here. All right. So we have a loss animation right here in our test character, which uh, hmm, I didn't loop it. That's interesting. So let's just loop the last part on place. Okay. So now we want him to let's have him if he is hit with a certain attack he will turn this way backwards. So what we're going to do is add a new skill. Let's call it uh can't see my keyboard. Loss 2. So, for simplicity's sake, we're just going to copy and paste, and we're going to flip. And we want this to occur when he is hit with the grab. So, if the grab connects, they will flip to this. They will, they will turn backwards. Let's add a little time on that so we can see the difference. Normal. Okay, maybe that, that's a little short. Oh, let's do a player stop. Special effect, time stop. Let's go with one second. Copy and paste. All right. So, regular animation. I don't know why there's lightning. Lost two, he turns around. So in order for this to happen, we're going to set a variable here, condition fork variable, and we will use system variable A because I don't think I've used it. So if it's the same as zero, we will have it go here. We will set a second variable here, right after it. It's the same exact one. If it's the same, oops, not 10, 1, it will redirect to 2. So, what this is saying is, uh, actually, the variable should be first. Let's delete that. So what this is saying is, when they lose, they get their, they're at 0 HP, it will go to the loss script. The first thing it'll do is run into this variable. Is is system variable A zero? If the answer is yes, it will skip over, it will skip over position two and go to position three. Position two is the second variable, so then it will go here to the time stop and then play out the original animation. If it's not the same, it will skip this variable and go to position two, which it's one now, which we have redirected to two. So now we need a way to activate that. So the way I do it for grabs, the grab will whiff. So we have a simple grab animation here. There's the grab and there's the whiff. If the grab is successful and provided that since I didn't make a tech, or a grab tech, I should say, 
once the grab is initiated, you want the variable to activate. So the grab initiates, we will go here, condition fork, add variable. We're gonna go with replace system variable A with one. Then by the end of it, Well, I should have made a grab animation to make things correct. Grab, attack. Copy, paste. So this is why it's bad to recycle sometimes. For simplicity's sake, I remember I made this redirect to the weak, weak stand, but now that's gonna screw me over. So. What's going to happen is after the attack lands and the grab animation ends, to make sure that system variable doesn't stay like that, at the end of the animation, we will go to system variable one and replace back to zero in case the round doesn't end. Because if you don't reset it to zero, let's say the grab hits, the, vari the system variable will go to one. It doesn't kill. It will stay at one. And if you kill them with a regular attack, they will do the special loss animation. Actually, to make it more exaggerated, let's turn them upside down. That way we know it's the other one. So, oh, don't have a demo. Demo one. File. No. File. Save. Test game. Not searching day. Okay. There's the grab button. We don't have HP. So, is grab? Why is that whipping? I actually don't know why. Can you give me a second. Grab. Why does. Hmm. That's interesting. So, detect skill, attack hits. Go here. That is weird. Normally, I have that for all my grabs. So. There we go. Oh, I made the grab attack do only one damage. We're going to be here forever. All right. The most OP grab in the world. So, when I do the grab, he should turn around and upside down. There you go. And he did. Now, if we do a... If you continue this trend, you will notice that when I kill him this time, he will not turn around and go... I'll even turn this off. There you go, he is standing. That is how you use the variable to change the loss animations. And I crashed. That's interesting. Kai Kisuke was too overpowered. So, that is one application of variables.